Hi everyone! Yes, it's not Friday, I know, I know, but I thought that because on Friday something big is going to happen, maybe I could film this before, post it before, and maybe you want to join. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, you do. I already know you. Well, in case you don't know me, I am Clara and I'm the owner of The Path where I talk about literature in general, in Spanish, which is my mother tongue, and in English, which is the language that you are listening to me speaking right now. And we are going to talk about the Tom Topper readathon. Ready? Go! So, in case you don't know what Tom Topper is, Tom Topper is a readathon created by Sam, the owner of the booktube channel called Thoughts on Doms, which is an incredible channel, and she I consider her my fairy bookish godmother, my bookish fairy godmother, better said. And she created this because sometimes when you have these kind of huge, uh, daunting books that are a little bit intimidating, so she decided to create a readathon, a, a friendly competition, a friendly uh, kind of um, intensive reading uh, experience where people could join and read books over 500 pages. That's the main goal of the readathon itself. Now, she created uh, this this readathon with several co-hosts that will be directing the Twitter account. I will post all the details. The Twitter account, Sam's latest video, because this is the sixth room that they actually do and they, is the <clears throat> so as I will post I've all the details down below this is the sixth time that she has like uh, actually promoted this readathon and Tom Topel as as an event it has its own Twitter account where uh, Sam from this channel and other booktubers have uh, actually access to the account and they do a sprints, reading sprints, so you, if you want to boost your own reading experience, if you want to join the discussion on Twitter, you can actually do so, not only with them, but with the rest of the readers as well. Um, so I was thinking, I will leave all the details down below, I will leave uh, Sam latest video about Tom Topo, which is for this sixth edition, and also the Twitter account and the Goodreads group. The Goodreads group is really nice in case you want to find a proper book that follows the rules, like the 500, the plus 500 pages rule. Uh, they recommend you. So, apart from reading one book that is over 500 pages, there are several challenges that are not compulsory, but you can actually accomplish throughout the readathon. The first one is reading more than one tome, let's say one book that is actually more than 500 pages long. The second one is reading a graphic novel, but the only kind of obligatory element is that it has to be over or more than 500 pages long, the, the graphic novel itself. Also, you can read a tome that is part of a series or a saga. And also, you can buy read a tome. You can read one of these books with a colleague. That's why the uh, Goodreads group is so handy. Because you can find someone that is about to start reading the book that you want to read. And you can comment the book with them. And lastly, you can read another novel, another book. I guess, I'm not quite sure, but I remember that I listened to some speaking about normally readathons are more about YA books, so for those who want to jump into adult fiction, this could be a very interesting idea also, because adult books are normally longer than the YA one ones, so it's probably easier to find uh, chunkier books in that case. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention, um, of course, you can actually use audiobooks, I'm doing so myself, for books that in the physical form that you want to read are over 500 pages. I'm going to say, show you the example that I always do. I am reading 
better said, I am listening the Spanish edition of The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. As you can see, it's a very chunky book of a, a fantasy trilogy, I think. So, uh, a high fantasy trilogy, a novel book. So, I will be taking the uh, challenges of um, read a, a novel novel and read a installment in a series better set. So, yes, this is uh, the one. And the last book I'm going to read during the Tom Topol Readathon is actually the physical book that I'm going to read, which is. Tu nombre después de la lluvia by Victoria Álvarez. This is a Spanish book written by a Spanish author that for now is only available in Spanish. But again, this is a adult fiction, a part of a, the beginning of a trilogy to be fair. So we are taking those uh, elements out of the challenges list. And this is the story of a group of friends who have, during the 19th century, uh, um, Actually, they have a, a magazine called Dreaming Aspires, which is actually the uh, name of the trilogy. And at the beginning of this story, they are uh, set. They're they are in London, but they are sent to a, a little town in a little village in Dublin, near Dublin. That actually has a castle with a banshee in it. For those who don't know. A banshee is similar to a ghost, but she normally is always a female. She always cries when the death of someone that lives in that castle, normally someone of very important lineage, so some kind of noble or something, is about to die. So she cries, and what you know next is that the person that lives in that castle or some relative of, of his or her, is about to die or has died so they have to go to this village because the uh, banshee that lives in this castle has apparently attacked one of the neighbors when they only attack the people that they are bound to the the, the kind of noble families or the important families instead of the common people so th this is the premise of the book so far as you can See, I have started this one as well, and I'm really enjoying it, but because of work I cannot focus very much, and I hope that in both the cases, in the Patrick Rothfuss case and this one, the readathon helps me to focus. So, yeah, these are the ones that I'm going to be reading. Again, I will post all the information down below, but I would love to hear if you are thinking about participating and which books would you pick out of your suit uh, of your suitcase I was going to say suitcase which book would you pick for, uh, out of your bookcase better said to read during these two weeks I hope you uh, join the adventure and don't forget to tweet with the hashtag Tom Topple so we can actually follow each other and see how the reading is, is going bye